Red Brick Media. High quality CDs, DVDs, lectures, khutbah, conferences, and Quran recitations. All revenue generated supports our dawah work, supported by visiting our store. You can now purchase directly from our site www.redbrickmedia.co.uk. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Seven on the day of judgment will be in the shade of Allah عز وجل in the shade of his throne as the Prophet ﷺ gave us the glad tidings. Does it mean that only these seven will be in Allah's shade? No. Allah did not limit this to these categories. There will be others who will be in the shade of Allah as scholars have looked into it and wrote different articles about it and published different books on this topic. Does it mean that these seven will not be questioned on the Day of Judgment? And still the answer is no. Those who will not be questioned on the Day of Judgment can be among them, and they may not. The Prophet told us والسلام, that there will be 70,000 of his ummah, of his followers, who would enter paradise, who would enter Jannah without any questionability, or accountability. They will not be questioned and they will not be held accountable. And he gave us a description that they uh, uh, do not cuterize, they do not ask people to offer ruqya, they uh, have no bad omens, they don't believe in bad omens, and they have full dependence, reliance, and trust in Allah Azza wa They have full tawakkul on Allah. So, maybe these seven can be part of the 70,000, but we don't have the strong evidence that confirms this so that we can say with ease that yes, these seven are definitely not going to be questioned on the Day of Judgment. So, who are these seven? On, top, on the top of the list, a just ruler. And the just ruler this refers to the one who assumes the top responsibility of the pyramid so he's the one on the top he is the king he is the president he is the one that everybody else is under his umbrella and responsibility and the prophet described him alayhi salatu to be fair and just and with justice, Allah Azza wa created the heavens and the earth. With justice, Allah Azza wa gives victory to a nation, even if they were a kafir nation, even if they were disbelievers. As long as they're fair and just, Allah Azza wa would support them. Because this is what they're doing in this dunya. And if a Muslim nation was unfair and unjust, Allah Azza wa would not support that nation and who is a fair and just imam he is the one who puts things in their positions so he knows where to put everything in its position without any looseness and without any exaggeration he's fair he's in the middle a just ruler is the father of all. He would educate those who are ignorant among them. He would compensate and be close to those who are poor. He would heal the illnesses and the sickness and the diseases by providing to them the proper health care that would not exhaust their income. A strong man at the side of a just ruler is weak until he takes what this strong man should give to those who he has 
transgressed against. And a weak person is strong at the side of this just and fair ruler until he avenge his rights and he takes them for him. This just ruler, if he is fair and just, if he is well, the whole nation would be well. And if he's corrupt, if he's unfair, then the body of this nation would fall into fever and would become sick. This ruler fears Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is why he is fair and just. He does not abuse his responsibilities. He does not abuse his authority. He does not abuse, in financial terms, the treasury of the Muslims. He does not take from the wealth of the Ummah as if it's his own wallet. He gives whomever he wishes and deprives whomever he wishes. He does not favor any of his tribe or of his people or of his friends because the Prophet ﷺ told us that part of not being honest and fair is to appoint those who are not worthy in positions and deprive those who are worthy from such positions. And by the way, these are part of the signs of the hour. A man came to the Prophet ﷺ. He said, when is the hour? And the Prophet said, when honesty is lost, when trust is abandoned, then wait for the hour. So the man said, how would I know? What are the signs for abandoning trust and losing amana? And then the Prophet said, ﷺ, when people are appointed at positions and they're not worthy of it, then this is losing the trust and the amana. And then you should await for the hour to come. Look around you. You find the right man in the wrong position. And you find the wrong person in the right position. People are not doing their jobs. They're not being appointed due to their qualifications an ability, they're being appointed due to their nipmatism, due to their relationship to the ruler. And this definitely does not fall under the category of being fair and just ruler. So is this only limited to the head of the state? No. This can be also applicable to a minister who has people under him, a manager, who has people under him, any type of responsibility that Allah gives to you. I pray to Allah Azza wa that he makes me and you among those who would be shaded in his shade on the day of judgment. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم